I'd love to jump in. Are you up? Yeah. Yeah. I, I did some thinking about it last night. And when I started with you, I was depressed. I didn't want to even partake in anything. I didn't want to be with family. I didn't want to be with friends. I didn't want to do anything. And after the first meeting, I started feeling like I am important. I, my self-esteem was coming up. I was able to find myself because myself was missing. And by the end of it, not only did I have myself, but myself is confident. And I can now put my best foot forward. I'm getting interviews. I haven't found the perfect job yet, but it just hasn't shown itself. You just started. Um, That's fast. Exactly. Exactly. I've, I've got some few things to do to spruce things up. That's fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've been doing and what type of work you were doing and where you were at when we connect? When we connected, I had just had breast cancer and a bilateral mastectomy. And that really shakes you up. But now I'm not a woman who has had cancer. I'm Louise. It doesn't matter. I don't identify as that. I can't even express how low I was when we got together. I can't even describe it. But now the meditations, that stuff is, it just works so well. And I don't let people walk on me anymore. I'm important to me. And if I'm not important to you, okay, see you later, bye. But taking care of myself and the whole psych psychological impact that was that I made in this program. It cannot be overexpressed. It's leaps and bounds. I'm a whole different person than where I was when we started. And I was deep down when we started. Now you've been you're between jobs. Yes. So where are you at? It's been a few months since you left your last role? Yes. Actually when I got back from disability for my illness, I was fired. But now, and again, I'm not focusing on that anymore. I know my perfect job and I will know it when I see it. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back to work, but there's jobs out there. And like I said, I'm going to focus on that a little more and reach out and get. Yeah, exactly. And one thing beautiful that you said, Louise, is the fact that you're interviewing to see if they're right for you. And how is that different than in the past? In the past, I was always, I was like really nervous. Am, am I good enough? Am I, what can I say to sell myself? And I'm not trying to sell myself. I'm trying, they need to sell themselves to me. And, and it, it's a whole, it's an attitude change. Yeah. You don't go in there hoping that you'll get it. You go in there wondering if they're going to be good enough. And definitely, it's a whole different ball game when you go in with that kind of attitude. After all, Dr. Louise. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And actually, I'm really looking forward to being able to utilize those credentials because I did work hard for it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Congratulations. What would you say has been the biggest shift for you? The biggest shift is my depression. I that really I that's been the biggest. You can't look for jobs if you don't feel good about yourself. You just can't. I, you don't want to do anything. And I was in such a bad place. And I'm not anymore. <laughs> I'm spending time with family and friends. And I know how to laugh. I know how to enjoy things that I have enjoyed in the past, which I didn't do anything but lay in bed. And that, that's the huge difference. How long were you stuck in that funky place? It was three months when we met. Did you um, realize that you were in a funk? I did, but I didn't care. But you know what, really, why bother? So I did know that I was in a funk, but I did not know, I didn't care that I was. And, and the, most of the time when we're in that place, I've been there several times myself over my life. And you don't know how to get out. You don't even know where to begin. That's not even mm. on the list. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So knowing that you're in a funk is one thing, but knowing what to do about it and actually doing something about it is completely different. I'm really so impressed with the changes that you've made and the path you were embarking on now is actually, that's the fun part is finding yes. that role, right? So it's not going to be an issue. I can see that. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. And it's summertime. So if I don't get a job for a couple of weeks, 
not a bad thing. <laughs> I think more than anything, we dismiss the fact that we need to rest. We yes. dismiss the fact of taking care of ourselves. So many of us on a professional path. And I just see that sometimes that break and that feeling good, but not feeling like in a rush, we're not sabotaging ourselves, and we're not putting out that vibe or that frequency of the scarcity or desperation. And so that yes. comes for us too. Absolutely. Yep. That's when people want me more. Is exactly. When yeah. They're like, he's energized. Let's go. What would you say to anybody that's considering work, doing some work with me? Stop thinking about it and start doing it. Just don't try to analyze or second guess. Just do it and you won't be sorry. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks for being so vulnerable with some challenges that you faced. It's never fun, but you've really made leaps and bounds forward. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah, and that was, it was in just four weeks. Yes. Yes. And I'm looking forward to working with you some more. Was there anything else that you wanted to share with me or anybody that's Looking for a job? I can't express enough that this will get you going. It will, and it will get you headed in the right direction. And you can identify what you want, what's best for you. And you can say, I had, this is the job I've always done, but is that the job you want? Um, and this will help you uh, really get into that and, and discover, is that where you want to go now? So just do it. Just do it. Okay. Love it. And so much of the time when we forget ourselves, we leave ourselves out of the equation. Uh, we work, work, and that's when things like dis-ease take yep. over, I, right? It's an opportunity for us to reconfigure and redirect ourselves, get ourselves on the right track rather than suffering in a role or a job that just not cut. Me. Yep, yep. Like I said earlier, I was able to find me. I finally found who Louise is. And that was huge. And now I know who Louise is and I know where Louise wants to go. Thank you so much, Louise. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're doing great. Rock and roll, girlfriend. Absolutely. Absolutely.